With Formula One salaries being so high these days, you would think it's at the max. However, recent news have blown that suggestion away. That's right, Lewis Hamilton is reportedly close to sealing a new deal with Mercedes that would make him the highest paid driver in F1 history by an even bigger margin than before. But how did he manage to land such a lucrative offer? Stay tuned as we reveal all the details and implications of Hamilton's potential £100 million deal. Hamilton is no stranger to breaking records, winning seven world championships, equaling the legendary Michael Schumacher. He has also racked up 103 pole positions and 103 race wins, more than any other driver in history. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest drivers of all time, and a global superstar with millions of fans and followers. But his success on the track has also translated into success off the track as he has become a powerful brand and an influential voice for social causes. Hamilton has been with Mercedes since 2013 and together they have dominated the sport, winning eight consecutive constructors titles and six drivers titles for Hamilton. His current contract, which expires at the end of the season, is worth around £40 million per year, making him the highest earner in F1. But in a recent interview, he revealed he is very close to signing a new two-year deal that would double his salary to a whopping £100 million per year. That would make him not only the best-paid Formula 1 driver, but also the best-paid British sportsman in the world. Ahead of this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix, Hamilton revealed when speaking to the media the current status of his contract extension. When asked if it would be tied up before the summer break after next week's Belgian GP, he said, Nope. It might be announced at the end of the year. I might keep you waiting. Honestly, I don't have any more information for you to share. It continues to be with the lawyers, back and forth on things. I've not been part of it the whole time. I've been removed from it from the beginning. I've been wanting to focus on all the other things I have going on. The team has been working on it in the background. There's no negotiation left, just all the small bits. Hamilton's words suggest that he is not too concerned about the contract situation and that he trusts his team and his lawyers to sort out the details. He also implies that he is not under any pressure from Mercedes to sign quickly and that he has the freedom to choose when to announce it, but also playing a bit of mind games with his fans and the media, keeping them in suspense and creating more hype around his deal. It seems that the deal has most likely been agreed verbally but some legal things will need to be sorted and really the team has passed it onto the lawyer's hands for finalization. But what actually are these small bits? The on-track factors of the contract and the headline parts seem to be agreed on already. But what exactly are these small bits? Let's have a look at what may be meant by these words. Hamilton's image rights and sponsorship deals. He might want to have more control over how his name and likeness are used by Mercedes and their partners and how much he can earn from his own personal endorsements. Hamilton's promotional days. He might want to control the number of days he has to spend on media and marketing activities for Mercedes, and have more flexibility and freedom to pursue his own interests and projects. Hamilton's salary. He might want to negotiate a higher base salary or a bigger bonus scheme. Based on his performance and achievements, he might also want to have some clauses that protect him from any potential changes in the team's revenue or budget due to the pandemic or the new regulations. Hamilton's causes. He might want to ensure that Mercedes continues to support his efforts to promote diversity and inclusion in F1 and to address environmental and social issues. He might also want to have some say in how the new joint foundation with Mercedes will operate and what projects it will fund. Mercedes are happy to pay Hamilton so much because they know he is worth it. Hamilton is not only statistically the best driver in F1, but also a global superstar off track who brings a lot of value to the team and the brand. Here are some of the reasons why Mercedes are willing to invest so much in Hamilton. Hamilton is a proven winner. He has won seven world championships, six of them with Mercedes, and the team want to put him back on course to break more records in the sport. He has also helped Mercedes win seven consecutive constructors' titles, making them the most dominant team in F1 history. He is consistently fast, reliable and competitive and can deliver results in any conditions. 
He has won 99 races, 101 pole positions, and 54 fastest laps, more than any other driver in history. He has also won at least one race in every season he has competed in, a feat unmatched by any other driver. Hamilton is a huge draw for fans and sponsors. He has a massive fan base around the world with millions of followers on social media and a loyal support at every race. He also attracts a lot of attention from the media and the public, generating exposure and publicity for Mercedes and their partners. He is also involved in various endorsements and collaborations with brands such as Tommy Hilfiger, Bose, Monster Energy and Puma. He has also launched his own fashion line, music label and vegan restaurant. He is estimated to have a net worth of around £230 million, making him one of the richest sportsmen in the world. Hamilton is a leader and an inspiration. He is the most experienced and respected driver on the grid and a role model for many young drivers and fans. He is also a vocal advocate for diversity and inclusion in F1 and a champion for environmental and social causes. He has used his platform to raise awareness and funds for various charities and initiatives such as UNICEF, Black Lives Matter, Education Africa and Mission 44. He has also set up a joint foundation with Mercedes to promote diversity and inclusion in motorsport. He has also received various awards and honours for his achievements and contributions, such as the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year, the BBC Sports Personality of the Year, the GQ Sportsman of the Year and a knighthood from Queen Elizabeth II. Ultimately, Hamilton is rapidly closing in on signing a new contract with Mercedes that will help to defend the current title of being the highest paid driver in F1 history. But he is not just a driver. He is also a businessman, an activist and a legend of the sport. He has achieved incredible things on and off the track and he still has more to offer. He is a valuable asset for Mercedes and for F1 and he deserves every penny he earns. He is also a source of inspiration and motivation for millions of people around the world who admire his talent, his passion and his vision. He is not just a champion, he is a phenomenon and many can't wait to see what he will do next. What do you think about Hamilton's new deal? Does he deserve it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss the latest news and analysis within the world of Formula One.